Hey everybody, Rick Deed of Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania. It's Thursday, June the 4th. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Take a look at race 6 tonight, folks. 8.16 p.m. Eastern Post Time. 6 for a long sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, 3 years old, an up race for a climbing prize of $13,800. Contenders number 3, Forest Moon. Number 8, Secure S Score. Number 2, Thrill Show. And number 1, Made to Run. Number 3, Forest Moon, a 9-2 to two shot. It's produced power run performances in each of her last five outings, hitting the board in the four, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Andrew Wolfswant and trainer Todd Beatty centered the post. They fit the board with 54% of their entry saddles as a team to date, with their 32% win rate producing a positive 32% return on investment in the process. Number eight, Secret Score, the morning line favorite, has turned in a trio of power runs in her last four, including a power run win in her third race back. Race six summary, number three, Forest Moon, tops my contenders list tonight here at Penn Nat, which also includes number eight, Secret Score, number two, Thrill Show, and number one, Made to Run. Three, eight, two, one, in the sixth from Penn National. Bonus long shots. Let's go to uh, Finger Lakes first race for the nine to two shot number four stop sign. Nice overall speed for this five and a half for a long sprint. Presque Isle Downs race six number two Hills of Gold six to one in the morning line qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a three level Trackmaster class drop. The overall speed leader in this claiming field. She's hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five, including a power run win facing better company. That's nine units better in her fifth race back. So handicapping from Penn National on a Thursday night. Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.